Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. As you can see the whiteboard behind me is blank. I'm going to be using an image on my computer to do all of the explaining. Um, I'm going to be going over Formula One steering wheels. There's an incredible number of buttons on a Formula One steering wheel and so I'm just going to use an image of one of those and just go through uh, a few of the buttons on there, not all of them but a good amount and explain what they're there for and what they do. Okay, so here we have a picture of a Formula One steering wheel. It's a little older of a model, so it's not the latest, but nonetheless I can go over quite a few of these buttons and explain what exactly the driver will do uh, by tampering with these, these buttons. So we'll just start up in the top left and then work our way to the bottom right. Uh, so we've got the DRS up at the very top left, that's that button number 10. That's not actually for a DRS on this steering wheel, but in the modern steering wheels you can see the DRS, uh, the drag reduction system, there up in the top left. So I put that there anyways. Moving to the right, uh, we can see these shift lights, this uh, row of, of lights, this single row here, and so that will tell you uh, your optimum time to shift gears um, so it'll light up across and let you know when to shift. So then if we go all the way to the right, uh, where that number one is, we've got the KERS activation. Now, once again, in this steering wheel, it's not actually KERS activation, but this is where you might find it on a modern steering wheel. So, following along left, we've got these uh, group of three little lights right there, that little cluster. Those are martial lights, and so those will light up if there's a flag. Uh, for example, say there was a crash and uh, they do a yellow flag for the incident, then these will let you know. So, you don't necessarily have to have to see uh, the marshals waving the flags. Okay, so then in the center you've got the info display and so that can show you things like uh, lap times, split times, um, if there's a problem with your engine it can display it there. So a very useful display. Uh, moving further to the left we've got the neutral button. So now what this does is you have to hold this button down before you can shift into neutral. Basically, if you don't hold it, you can't get into neutral. So it's a safety feature so that if you keep downshifting, you don't downshift past first gear. Uh, and so then to the left of that, which you can't really see, but there is a flat back there that allows you to upshift. So the reason why the neutral is on the left side and the gear down is on the right side is so that you can have one hand on each. Okay, so we'll move uh, over across to these center differential settings, or corner differential settings. And so what that does is you can alter your differential, how much slip you want to allow uh, while you're in a corner, so that the outside tire can rotate faster than the inside tire. <clears throat> so to the right of that, we have the pit lane speed limiter. And so what that button does is it limits your speed to 100 kilometers per hour, which is the maximum speed allowed in the pit lanes. So if we move down, you can see behind there it's kind of dark, but that's where the gear down paddle is. Right to the left of that is the pit communication button, the radio button. So if you need to communicate with uh, your, your pit crew, that's the button you push. Uh, if we go right to the center of the wheel, there is a torque uh, selector. Now what this does is it alters how much uh, power you create depending on how much you push in the gas pedal. So, say it's raining and you don't want the, the gas pedal to be quite as sensitive, you can turn it down so that the more you push in the gas pedal, it, it, doesn't, quite as, it doesn't give quite as much power as it would um, say if you were in a different setting, say it was dry and warm outside where you knew you had better grip. So you can alter the, uh, the gas pedal with that. So to the left of that we have a rev limiter and so very uh, common sense thing here, you just can limit the rev of your engine. Right below that we've got fuel mixture, so if you think you're running a little lean or a little rich you can alter that to uh, a less lean or a uh, less rich mixture or, or the other way around. To the left of that there is an oil pump button and so basically this is a backup so if your oil pump fails uh, that's a pretty big problem so you can press this button and it'll kick in a backup uh, oil pump so that you can keep racing at least until you get to pits or figure out what the problem is. 
And so below that to the right is the reverse button. And so just like the neutral button, you would press this and then press the uh, down gear shift button and so then you could get into reverse. It won't allow you unless you're holding this button. And that's a safety feature so that you don't accidentally go into reverse. All right, so moving over, we've got the clutch settings. So how quickly or um, slowly the clutch will engage uh, or how much slip it's gonna allow. If you're thirsty, there's a nice button here. If you're feeling dehydrated, you just press that button and you can get some water and rehydrate. So that's a great thing for the drivers. To the right of that, we have the clutch. So this is just like a clutch in your car, except it's on the steering wheel. It's kind of like a uh, clutch on a uh, motorcycle. And so that's just used for the very start of the race um, when, when you're not moving and then getting into first. So you can slip the clutch a little bit and have a, a good start. And then the very last one I'm going to go over, just the bottom right, pretty self-explanatory. It's just the engine kill button. Uh, if you're in an emergency situation or something like that where you need to get the engine shut off, you can simply press this button to do so. So that sums up uh, this steering wheel here and the buttons that at least I'll be going over. Um, and I'll just zoom out so you can see everything and uh, have a better look and check out all the, different, all the different buttons that the driver has to deal with while he's out there on the edge of the grip of his tires. So pretty crazy what, what they have to know how to do and use uh, on top of being excellent drivers.